and gentlemen, welcome back to another game for your Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles and the Delaware Blue Hens at Newark, Delaware and Bob Carpenter Center. So we are the focus player number one, our shooting guard on fire as of recently coming into this game, hoping to bring the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles to number one or to bring them another win to continue for winning plays this season with the tip off underway Tennessee is going to pick it up go down towards the center that's already a foul and that's not going to go in defensive foul on Delaware for two one does miss two does miss not what they want but also, what Delaware wants coming into this game. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting game coming into it. As there is a lot of hope on the line for this team here today. As the shot clock is coming down. So we are sitting at 15 seconds. Turnover for the blue for Tennessee. Goes up with it and is not able to capitalize on the dunk. As that is not normal for our Tennessee team. They are usually scoring by now. But I did do some upgrades and made it a little more difficult to score. So it's going to be a little harder in the long run to score in the games. He's off the mark. And that is a offensive rebound. Passes it out. Gets it passed out. Once again, shot is up. Backboard, no rebound. And we are going back the other way. 0-0 zero, zero so far coming into this game. As there is two points on the board. And there's two points for Tennessee Tech. First two points of the game. And we are sitting on a 2-2 two -two tie ball game here in the first with four minutes to go. This game is not very scorable in the first couple minutes of the game. Passes up deep. Gets the slam. 4-4 four, four all. Now... With the teams looking in deep, he's going to try to go up with it. Goes, passes out wide on defense, man on him. 17 seconds to go, pushes in, gets blocked to the center, shoots it, gets the two points. Gets the two points immediately back, and that's a 6-6 six -six tie ball game. And we are just back and forth between these two teams here today. As goes in the center and gets the two. Let's get immediately passes out. Two and gets it on fire as of recent. As we are going to have to go in and actually fully look at everything after this game to see why Tennessee all of a sudden is struggling. But it might just be the new sliders, honestly. It's probably what I needed. Gets the two. This game is back and forth. 10-10. Misses it. That's a good opening. We're going down the court here. Passes it over. Doesn't get what he wants. Gets the three. Three-pointer hits. And that is a huge lead for the boys. And it is as dead silent here on the court today. As there's not many people cheering. 
as the Blue Hens of Delaware are not doing too well. Down by one, the lead has been given to the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. Goes up four, gets the two. We're still up by three. And this is good to see for Tennessee as this is getting close to the end of this half. Hopefully Tennessee can continue this momentum. And that is a foul on the play. As if you guys are not already, I will put the... Uh, my um, guy that is doing my thumbnails, I will put his YouTube link in my description. Um, so if you guys do want to check him out, his link will be in the description. He does help me out by doing um, some thumbnails, and I am helping him out by editing his videos. So if you guys want to see his videos, he does do the same kind of thing. Um, just on, I believe, ba NCAA Basketball 07 instead of 10 like we do over here. But anyway, back to it. 17-13 is your score. And looking for something here is Boston. Not Boston, I mean Delaware as we come down. Goes up for it, gets the slam, and here is the lead we were hoping for. as we are doing pretty well for ourselves, specifically with this uh, coming up and just slamming because we are up by a bunch on a huge run here after stopping Delaware numerous of times. But this is going to take it to the end of the half. Actually stolen away down the other way. That's going to be another layup and it's in. And that is going to do it for this half. He hits the three. But he says no basket. Up by ten is your Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. And the Delaware Fighting Blue Hens. 13. As now this is a battle for the division here as looking for it and defended but is able to drop it in which works out in their favor tries to foul doesn't get it we're still up by 10 coming out of the half Goes for it, contested, not able to do anything there. Defensive foul, Defensive foul on Delaware. That's his first personal. Team foul number one. Oh, that is going to go out of bounds and turnover from Tennessee Tech. Not something you do want to look for. Stolen away. Turnover. Back the other way. Three, it's deep, not what you want to be shooting. Contested, but he does make the two. And now we are going the other way. Gets the slam. We're still pushing a 10 point lead here in the second half. We got it down low where we wanted it, was able to get the score, and now it's just about playing the rest of the game out and getting some open jumpers here. Gets the two, 29-19 is your score. We're not in conference play yet. 
but eventually we will be in conference play. Personal foul on Tennessee Tech. So Tennessee Tech doing pretty well for themselves in the non in the non-conference play. Um, something to look for in the future is Tennessee Tech doing pretty well in the non-conference play, and hopefully. Uh, continuing that into the conference play here in the future when it does get a little more complicated because that when it that's really when it comes down to playing well and that's when you can get into the tournaments is when you start playing really well and performing at your a hundred percent best as two people were there but nothing doing as there is 350 left in this game. Pushes inside, passes it out, passes it in. Looking for it, gets him down, and that's two points on the board. And there is a offensive foul on Delaware, and Delaware does give their second personal, I believe, of the game. Personal on Tennessee Tech. Something if you are Tennessee Tech, you do not want to uh, be fouling here. But that is something that does go on as that is a steal. Backcourt violation. He did pass it back, so... Little foul there. Not something you want to be doing if you're Tennessee Tech. You want to try to extend this lead, not hurt it. And he's out of bounds. Turnover. So many turnovers this game. Out of bounds again. Delaware is going to get possession. And that is going to be a shooting foul. Delaware. And speaking of substitutions, we're Tennessee Tech looking like they might sub in. Number 11. Try to get number 11, get him fired up. He's, number 11's been one of their really good spots this season. So now they are down by eight, but it's stolen to help them come back in this run. That's two more points on the board. Tennessee Tech loses it. And now down the other way and a foul on the play. That's his first personal team foul. No, nothing doing. Goes back up, gets it. Third down by eight. And Tennessee Tech hoping to go for number three. The three wins on the season. Defensive foul. Two. Defensive foul. And that is not something you ought to be looking for if Tennessee Tech. Personal, I mean, team foul number four. Something you don't want to be doing if you are playing. A team like Delaware, where they have a deep roster compared to you, and you don't want to be fouling out because then that can mess up what goes on throughout the rest of the game here. Number Gets three, it! Four, three. That's the three they needed! Gets the three, threw up by 11. The game is close. With two minutes remaining, down by 11. What can Delaware do here? As there is a foul. And here they go. Getting the crowd riled up as they get all the boos because they are winning quite a bit at the moment. Not something that, uh, if you're our Delaware here, you do not want to be getting those boos. Gets it! Number 11. Timeout. 
Delaware. It looks like number 45. He's going to come in and hopefully get some changes here for the team. And number 33 will hop onto the court as well. So there's a, a few changes here on the court. Pushes up, drops the ball. Shoots it off the board. As much defending happening here. Passes up, but it's stolen. Up for it, slams it down. And there is another timeout on the court as number 10 is coming back on for number 45. Tennessee Tech getting a substitution onto the floor as the starting lineup is not fully out on the floor, but one is sitting on the bench. There's a rebound right there as Tennessee Tech is going to go down the other way. See what they could do. Passes it out, shoots it off the board, goes back up with it, gets fouled on the play. So, the game, sounding like it could be over here. As I don't know why I'm not making those, but... Delaware calling a timeout, they need to do something here. As they go to half court, man, shoots it, gets the two. And they're going to try to just pass it out. What they're doing, passes it over. Gist misses it, offensive rebound, and doesn't get it again. Timeout for Delaware. As they are still down by more than 10 with 34 seconds to go in this game. If we would have made those free throws, it would have helped us out a lot, but we did not make the free throws, so we're doing a little struggle bus here. Gets the shot off, and that is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. As Tennessee Tech takes down Delaware for the first time this season and moves to 3-0 on the season. Takes a dub. As that shot will not count and that is not going to go anywhere. Game is over. 42-29 is your score at the end. Golden Eagles move to 3-0. And we go on and keep our undefeated streak rolling here early in the season. So, with them winning this game, that is going to be something huge for Tennessee or Tech. So, we will go look. Let's go look at the tournament watch. Let's go see who is getting in from ours. Moorhead State is still projected to win. They are on a 4-0 winning streak. On the bubble. Let's see who is on the bubble. I don't know if we will be on the bubble just because we are not one of the most popular teams. But it is a possible chance to try to get in um, if we do play well this season. We got to play super well um, as we will go look at your conference standing. So right now, Austin PA 
is number one, but they have not, no one has played. So we are sitting, waiting for our first game, pretty much. So once we figure that out, um, once we get into conference play, more likely, we'll be getting a lot more grindy. We do play Baylor coming up. And then I believe after two months, so we got we got a month of games to prove ourselves. And then we start the conference matchups, and that could help us decide whether or not we go to a title chance in the NCAA. This will be the coach's first time going to a title. So, we will have to look at what we can do, what is something that we can improve on to try. And try and win. Um, but with a lot of the players that we are trying to get here, ladies and gentlemen, I think with a few hopes and a few dreams, we might be able to win out this season and hopefully have a good rest of the year. Now, talking about years, we are just beginning ours. So if you guys do like what you are seeing, you wanna see more in the future, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all in the next one. Have a good night. Peace.